I tell you, every single time I put a team at the top of my power ranking, they end up losing. Whether it was the the Cincinnati Bengals, the San Diego Chargers, the Dallas Cowboys, every single team that I put on that power ranking at number one, the very next week they lose. Oh yeah, in the Arizona Cardinals. Every single week they end up losing. And this week the Broncos are going to go to the number one spot probably in the power ranking. And next week they play the Patriots. <laughs> so I'm telling you right now, if you got money, put your money on the Patriots to win next week's game. Because every single team that makes the number one spot on my power ranking, I'm not talking about the NFL shit. I'm talking about on my power ranking. This week I had the Dallas Cowboys in that number one spot. And the Dallas Cowboys lose to a third string quarterback. <laughs> Tony Romo ends up getting hurt in this game. And just, I mean, ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Um, some, I mean, some, some great catches by, by Des Bryant and Terrence Williams. Terrence Williams actually bailed Romo out because that should have been a fucking pick. But the Dallas Cow the, Red the Redskins, let me tell you something. The Redskins can be a good, a good team. Because they should have beaten the Eagles. If it wasn't for, for Foles and those interceptions and a few bounce balls here, they would have beat the Eagles as well. This is a team that's a few bounce balls from being a solid team. All they need is the quarterback not to make mistakes, which, um, damn, what is his name? Cousins. Cousins just was making way too many mistakes. And maybe they have solidified that quarterback position for a while with, um, I, I almost called him Rex Grossman, but Colt McCoy. I want to see Colt McCoy do well. I mean, he was a, he was a solid quarterback in Texas, and he has the school, he has the skills. He has the skills to be a solid NFL quarterback. So, the Redskins knocked the Cowboys off. Peace.